everyone uh, first of all share with you uh, today uh, our subject is uh, uh, cooling load calculations model uh, suppose we have a specific uh, building and we would like to discover uh, what is a required cooling loads or heating loads for uh, that building under its uh, design or uh, different operating conditions uh, first of all, after you download your model, you have to specify your folder. Okay, go to your drive, your destination folder from here. Okay, so and this is my folder. Okay, this is my cooling load folder. Okay, clicking here and click here for in order to sort by name and to group by type. Okay, group by type. Okay, so you will find your model is here. Okay, this is our main model cooling loads. Okay, just double clicking and okay, this is our main model. Um, we need to, for any building, we need to calculate uh, two main things uh, internal loads uh, by occupants, by uh, uh, facilities, um, electric machines, uh, uh, in any internal uh, sensible or latent heat inside the building. And we need to also to calculate the external loads or, or uh, over the, the building uh, such as environment conditions uh, 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 what is the uh, walls design and which cause uh, uh, some leakage or uh, temperature uh, of the environment into the building or uh, 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 wind speed or solar radiation which is responsible for the increasing the temperature inside the building. So it's a matter of uh, heat transfer. So let's go here and this is our main model. Double click. Okay, let's go inside and see our uh, main model. Okay, we have here two main blocks. Uh, the first one is for external loads. Okay, and the second one is for internal loads. Let's see here and try to compare. Okay, for for post operations, post blocks, we need to assign uh, different operating conditions. Uh, solar radiations for external uh, operating hours. So suppose this is, uh, we need to discover the uh, heat transfer at the middle of the, of the day. Uh, what is your outdoor operating temperature? Suppose it's 35 in summer. What is your measured um, uh, LED? Uh, indoor uh, dry bulb temperature suppose it's uh, 30 degrees Celsius okay uh, what is your uh, wind speed facing the building uh, I think uh, 0.5 is quite normal okay for external loads what is the main uh, side you are going to discover is it uh, uh, north north northeast east and southeast your directions uh, you can assign uh, um, some some of them you can assign or you can remove them all because if you would like not to discover the external loads just the internal loads suppose i have here uh, let's go for uh, north suppose i need to discover north and uh, horizontal uh, plate Okay, let's hit apply. Just for example, I'm not going in full details for this one. Okay, for internal loads, um, we need to discover uh, how many people or persons or occupants, uh, um, let's go, or attendance. Suppose I have uh, uh, 50 persons in the building. Okay. Okay, um, type of the building based on your activity of, of, of these people. Suppose they are in moderate, uh, moderate office work, okay? And their location, suppose they are in north, for example, okay? Suppose they are in north, okay? Uh, let's go here, okay? Uh, we are uh, targeting the middle of the day, Okay, we have num uh, number of lamps for lighting, number of lights uh, used. Suppose we have uh, 50 uh, lamps. Uh, usually 
for uh, uh, 20 watt or 18 watt let's go for 18 watt and we have usage factor factor uh, usage factor is um, uh, how uh, uh, the percentage of uh, the use of uh, of lights is it 50 percent of usage or 60 percent i think uh, uh, 70 percent is fine okay um, let's go for uh, fluorescent type okay for total loss of total internal loss um, suppose we have uh, coffee machines, uh, refrigerators, air, um, water coolers, um, uh, microwaves, ovens, something like this. It's an office building, so let it be uh, uh, 2500 watts, okay, as a total uh, uh, watt. Let's go inside external loads. So, so we assigned, as, you, as I do remember, we assigned north and northeast and horizontal. So, there is no meaning to assign uh, our inputs for the list. I will assign for north, north and northeast and horizontal. Let's go here and double click here. Okay, for north, we need to assign our design aspects. Number of walls are facing uh, north, usually one whole area suppose it's uh, a full bu entire building so it's suppose it's a 20 by multiplied by 30 high of height uh, type of wall let's go for um, I think common walls is quite interesting wall height this is wall height and uh, how many windows facing uh, such uh, direction I think um, let it be uh, 10 windows okay 10 windows okay and this is window area type of uh, glass maybe clear i think this one mm, for overall heat transfer coefficient uh, is there any doors yes we have one and uh, uh, we have here door area and this is it's wood okay two inches wood door okay this is facing north for facing northeast suppose i don't have i don't have uh, so simply assign all your values by zero so there is no calculations uh, for this uh, side okay let's go for horizontal one um, horizontal usually is a roof so this is our roof area uh, roof uh, uh, type I think it's roof concrete slab one inch I think maybe number of windows we don't have windows or window area uh, roof shading coefficient no for windows no uh, window shading coefficient no windows so I will assign at a zero okay now let's hit run and see our results this is our so you can go inside uh, the model okay and you can double clicking on the block this is for north and northeast and you will find the code this is your code so you can uh, use it in your uh, research uh, activities let's head back going outside here and hit run and see our results okay and we have to wait a little bit for uh... okay as you can see here we have four or ten loads uh, 50 I think how many persons 50 persons so we need uh, almost uh, 8,000 watts for external load we need also 8,000 watts and this is your total uh, in kilowatt and this is your total load in uh, ton refrigerant so for under such circumstances or such um, uh, operating conditions we have to consume uh, around uh, 4.6 uh, ton uh, refrigerant okay suppose I can run this in uh, in, do, in, in time domain let's set our summation time into infinity I have to set it in 
in, in infinity i in f and uh, uh, let's go here and try to run and i would like to change some operating conditions for external loads and may also for the internal loads let's prepare this and hit run and see let's hit run and i would like to change okay suppose i i i will increase uh, solar radiation a little bit up to uh, 500 for example for externals that's increasing okay i'm increasing okay let's in the, uh, change the operating hour i'm changing the operating hour for a while okay okay let's go for uh, uh, one o'clock and uh, temperature outdoor temperature i will increase it a little bit up to uh, and maybe 40 degrees Celsius. Let's go for 40 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. And let's go for internal loads. Suppose I, I would like to uh, decrease as a usage factor. I'm decreasing the usage factor of the lights down to uh, 60% okay uh, that's enough for now okay i need to stop as you can see um, the load has changed so um, it's up to your design up to your study you can uh, um, examine which operating condition is su more suitable to your design which type of your material you can compare runs make one run for woods make another run for concrete and so on and let's go here and uh, this one is may help uh, uh, people in discovering how loads and okay let's go for for external this is your varying of your uh, load external load and this is your internal load as you can see here because of the change let's i i, I would like to uh, okay to emphasize a little bit this is total load in town refrigerant fluctuating <coughs> and the same uh, for uh, a kilowatt i'm sorry i this is in kilowatt this is for kilowatt and this is for town refrigerant with respect to the time and this is uh, uh, total load in north and uh, this is for thermal load for for windows for doors for uh, walls and you can discover this from here and you can draw your uh, results let's go inside set the machination time into zero let's go inside for this one as you, you can realize this this is total load uh, for north and northeast uh, was no existent to the northeast uh, effect and this is wall heat transfer through the wall and this is um, uh, doors heat transfer and this is heat transfer through the windows because we have 20 uh, or 10 windows and this is uh, infiltration because of the air from outside uh, to the inside uh, of the building and let's go for horizontal we have here uh, this is your total um, this is through the walls and there is no window for horizontal so it is completely depending on uh, uh, the roof this is internal loads as you can see here this is total um, the total is quite uh, uh, depending on the submission of occupants as you can see here uh, latent heat of uh, sensible uh, latent heat of occupants and light and uh, equipment this is your equipment loads okay um, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe uh, thank you very much